Welcome everyone. Today's video is an update on or a correction to a video that I published two days ago about the assassination of diving school owner Vera Azabachin, also known as Mr. Ban on Syri Beach. And that's a thumbnail for that particular video. Firstly though, some shameless promotion. If you're interested in learning details of murders and other violent crimes on Koh Tao, then please go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button because on this channel there will be information that is not necessarily covered in the mainstream media or not necessarily covered all that well. And of course if you're not interested and do not wish to subscribe I really don't blame you because it's a pretty depressing sort of topic. However, as you watch this video you might decide that it was useful in which case I'd ask you to give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a constructive comment uh, beneath the video. Uh, and in fact, if you're able to leave uh, comments beneath the video, they will be much more effective than uh, comments that might be left under, say, a Facebook post on my Facebook page, which is Kotao Death Island. Now, for those of you who did not uh, see the previous video on the assassination, that is this one here with that thumbnail, um, I will provide a link below so that you can view it uh, after you've watched this video. Now in that first video, I did quote two articles that were in the Bangkok Post, published in 2002 and 2014, which said that Mr. Ban was assassinated in broad daylight uh, by a gunman wearing a balaclava, uh, who fired six shots into Mr. Ban as he chatted with friends near Syri Beach. Uh, those articles also stated that the killer had never been charged. Now here is the update or the correction. A number of viewers have left comments uh, below this very first video and they've also left comments on my Facebook page uh, under a post that I uh, posted on the 9th of June 2021 and that of course is Koh Tao Death Island and those comments contradicted the statements that no one was ever charged. Now arguably the comments with the most authority came from a lady by the name of Sue Buchanan who was the past owner of the Samui Times and who worked on uh, Koh Tao as a diving instructor for many years and in fact she'd also been married into the Koh Tao Mafia. So Sue stated under the Facebook post that, quote, it was over a gambling debt, the local butcher took the rap, end quote. And another comment she made was, quote, butcher is still in prison and gets money each month. On top of that, she said, quote, he was paid to do it, end quote. And Terry Graham, who's another viewer, commented under the very first video, uh, I showed you that thumbnail, the thumbnail before, he said, quote, there was a person charged and jailed for Ban's murder. He was the local pig seller on, on Koh Tao. Of course, he was the fall guy and paid off by the people who wanted Ban dead normal fare for mafia operations worldwide, end quote. And then he had another comment which went, quote, information supplied by friends who live on Tau. Journos only report secondhand info at best. That's the problem with your channel. That's the problem with your channel in some of your reports. Anybody can say anything according to their uh, agenda, end quote. So of course he has a little bit of a, a swipe at uh, journalists and uh, and also yours truly, but of course uh, the journalists and I you know were not on the island at the time, so of course things are second hand or third hand. And my response to him was, quote, "Do you have any further details, Terry? Perhaps your comments should be put to the Bangkok Post. The police sergeant major on Koh Tao, uh, whose nickname is Chet, uh, does not respond to my questions." End quote. In fact, I will just make the comment that the Royal Thai Police are often hopeless when it comes to answering questions, and I've had experience with uh, other authorities in Thailand, such as the Bureau of Laboratory Quality Standards. I was asking them for months about uh, the uh, accreditation of the police laboratory that supposedly, supposedly uh, conducted tests on semen samples that were supposedly collected from the body of Hannah Witheridge and which were used to convict the um, two scapegoats who uh, took the rap for the murders of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller. 
and I was fobbed off for months and months and months and it was only after I contacted uh, APLAC in, in Adelaide in Australia who then went on and contacted the Bureau of Laboratory Quality Standards that I actually got a response and the relevant um, bureaucrat uh, wanted to blame me for not sending the email to the correct address but APLAC actually confirmed that I'd actually sent my emails and requests to the correct address. Anyway, I, I digressed a bit, but I'll continue. So Terry Graham's answer uh, to me was, quote, Jesus Christ, mate, are you serious? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ha ha. The more I read your comments, the more I must conclude that you are ignorant to what actually ha happens at ground level in Thailand. Now don't take offense to that, but given your last comment, I can only come to this conclusion. Now, I had previously asked some follow-up questions to uh, Terry Graham, which he didn't answer. And of course, uh, I'm, I can only uh, relay what comes uh, from people who have been on Kotao and who know more about what's going on. So my final question for Terry Graham was, quote, thanks Terry, please enlighten me and everyone else. I do note that you did not uh, mention the pig farmer or pig seller uh, previously. Now, I made that comment because he had uh, left some comments uh, under a, a previous post. And there was also a viewer um, whose name was Four Knife who asked Terry Graham this question, quote, Fall Guy, you mean he had a debt to pay and that meant playing the role as hitman, uh, end quote. Now, um, at the time of publication of this video, um, Terry Graham had not responded to either. And this was a comment from Terry Graham beneath a YouTube video published on the 31st of December 2020. And I'll show you, that is the first words uh, under the thumbnail where Paddy expels violent instructor. And that's a picture of Santi Cockpool. Uh, his real name is Pat Cockpool. And he was hired by Ben's diving resort following Mr. Ben's assassination. And he was hired as muscle to protect the to protect to protect the business from other uh, criminals on the island. So uh, beneath this particular uh, video, Terry Graham wrote the following: What you do not acknowledge is that Mr. Ban was also a very violent Thai. Often he would pull his gun out when enraged, and this also is a reason he was hit upon. So. As I've been sort of trying to get information about Mr. Ban's assassination, I get um, you know little pieces of glimpses of information here and there. And in fact, I had uh, read on one uh, forum on the internet that, or one one website that, um, you know, one person said, "Oh, that Mr. Ban had been getting a bit full of himself. He'd been getting a, a big head." So you know, people were saying, "Oh, he's he's got a big head," or this particular fellow, um, Terry Graham, was saying, oh, well, he was a violent person himself. So um, we weren't really getting a complete picture from anyone, just little snippets of information here and there. And another person uh, left a comment under the Facebook post that I referred to before. His name was, uh, he's using the name Darius Moetsami. He commented, quote, bullshit in, in capital letters or uppercase, the E murderer was quickly apprehended and sentenced to prison, end quote. So he's basically saying bullshit in response to the uh, statement made in the Bangkok Post articles that no one had ever been charged. Okay, now it's actually very difficult to find much at all on the internet about Mr. Ban's assassination. I came across references within these online forums, or for those of you who like Latin, these online fora, so there was um, Sport Today, which is a uh, forum, uh, Scuba Board, which is a forum, and uh, teakdoor.com, which is a forum, and they basically largely just reprinted what was already in the Bangkok Post articles. And uh, Andrew Drummond is a, a Scottish journalist, a freelance journalist. Uh, he's got a couple of um, web pages where he'd referred to Mr. Ban's assass assassination and there were also some German language sites. And there I've got the, the relevant years that uh, the, uh, 
the references to Mr. Ben's assass assassination were published. And as I said, they just largely republished what was already in the Bangkok Post, and sometimes there might have been a comment or an obscure comment from um, a reader. So, in addition, prior to, to June of 2021, um, I've published uh, six YouTube videos that referred to Mr. Ban's assassination with only one viewer being Terry Graham, who I referred to before, uh, who left an informative comment about uh, Mr. Ban beneath one of them. So here are thumbnails of five of the six uh, videos I published. So if you look on my website and you want to do a bit of binge watching, um, you can see that I've mentioned uh, Mr. Ban in those. Uh, sometimes I've mentioned them within the video and sometimes in the description beneath the videos and sometimes both. Now anyone who's got any other pearls of information is very very welcome to leave a comment below. In fact you'll see that quite often that's the only way I get information um, and that will certainly um, reach a much larger audience than any uh, comment that you might leave below a Facebook post because my Facebook posts kind of uh, get buried a bit like a tweet but a YouTube video comment will last much longer. So if you thought this uh, video was at all useful please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the video if not, if not already done so and if you look at this video in mid or early June of 2021 you might want to come back later on and look uh, and read some of the comments below and read any updates from me because I'm sure that this is going to be very much a work in progress and um, just before I go as well I'll just mention I'll just read a, um, a short passage from this is an email or a, a reprint of an email that I got from Bands Diving Resort in October of uh, 2020 Anyone who wishes to pause the video can pause and read that. But I'll just read the final paragraph. Um, they wrote, In regard to Mr. Ban, it is deeply painful to know that details about his passing are being reintroduced on social media channels. I would ask that you consider the profound loss this family has already experienced and their wish for privacy. May he rest in peace. Kind regards, Ban's Diving Resort. And that was basically in response to an email I had sent them the previous day uh, in which I asked about um, Santy Cockpool having almost murdered a Scottish tourist in the Fishbowl Beach Bar on the 15th of August 2020 and I also asked a related question about the assassination of Mr. Ban and uh, to their credit they did get back to me very promptly and I understand their um, wish for privacy but uh, one of the reasons, <coughs> one, excuse me, one reason I'm just showing this uh, email response is to just point out that I have often uh, endeavoured to get better information about Mr. Ban's assassination. So I've asked the family, um, it's hopeless trying to ask the, the Royal Thai Police anything. And uh, I have uh, started to get information left by viewers, uh, both under these videos and under Facebook posts. So thank you to everyone who's contributed and if anyone else wants to contribute anything further I'll be happy to read it and I'm sure the other viewers will be um, pleased to read what you have to say as well. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, as I said give it a thumbs up if you thought it was um, useful and uh, stay safe. All the best. Bye for now.